Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. And now part D, they want to know what are the volumes of the auxiliary fume hood supply, fume hood exhaust, and the room air return and draw a diagram and label all the entering and leaving airflow. So usually I draw a diagram right off the bat, but hopefully you've been able to follow along with some of the formulas here. We're actually drawing the picture late in the game, but let's imagine this room now. We've got these two exhaust hoods, and I don't know if they're physically separate like that or if they're integrated into one, but it doesn't matter. We'll call them H1 and H2, and there's some air volume being removed from each of these. And we actually know that volume, it's 1400 CFM each. That's been given. And then from a supply perspective, there's this hood supply, this auxiliary duct work. We don't know what that volume is. And then separately from that, that's not quite sized to provide all the volume for the hood exhaust. So there's a separate room supply, and we've actually already calculated that volume, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Then there's an exhaust. So that's just to recirculate some return air. So most of the volume is going to go out through the hood exhaust, but there'll be some return air volume as well, which we should calculate. And then just to make sure that the room is positive so that you don't have these noxious fumes coming back into the room, they're overpressurizing the room. So there's 10% more supply volume than total extract to maintain that positive pressure. And that means that some amount of air is going out by leakage. And we should calculate that as well. So let's find out what some of these other values are. And let's start with the hood supply volume. They told us that 65% of the air removed by the fume hoods is supplied by the hood's auxiliary ductwork. So how much air is removed by the fume hoods? Well, it's 1400 CFM each, so 2800 CFM total. And 65% of that is coming from the hood supply ductwork. So we can do that pretty easily. That's 2 times 1400 times 0 0.65, that's 1820 CFM. That's coming from the hood supply. Then we have the room supply. Now this one's a little interesting because of the way they worded it. They said the remaining 35% is supplied by the main room supply system. So it might lead you to believe that it's two times 1400 times 0 0.35, but that would be insufficient because we also know that we need the extra 10% to overpressurize the room and we know there's going to be some return that's going to get recirculated as well. And we need to make sure that we're addressing the sensible heat load. So it turns out that the volume we need is not the minimum to feed these hoods. It's the amount we need to satisfy the sensible heat load. And if there's extra, then that's going to go to leakage or to return air. So it's actually this 1507 CFM that we calculated based on the sensible heat load in the room that's going to become that room supply volume. So this is 1507 CFM. And now we have all of the supply defined. So the leakage they said is 10% of what's supplied. So we can calculate that. And it's going to be 0.1 times 1820 plus the 1507. And that works out to 333 CFM. And then the return air, we can just figure out from the balance. Since that's the only one we don't know, it's going to be total supply minus the hoods and the leakage. So 1820, and I'll skip the units here since everything's CFM, plus 1507 minus 2 times 1400 and minus the 333. That equals 194 CFM. So that's this. So the room is balanced. The hoods are working to their full potential, 1400 each. The hood supply is providing 65% of what the hood exhaust actually pulls. The room supply is satisfying the minimum of serving at least 35% of what the hood exhaust can pull, but it's also supplying extra because it needs to meet the sensible load within the room. So it's the number that we calculated that would be required to meet that sensible load. And in doing so, it's able to overpressurize the room to address this 10% leakage and what's left over gets returned to the air handling system and recirculated through the room supply. So that's what's going on, and that's answer D.